And then we do this integral by three methods. Now the integral is not really difficult, but the methods, you know, the best, the methods is valuable uh, to to learn. Now the first method, and let me see that uh, the log log cosine x, it is actually equal to uh, log cosine x to power negative square then you must have one half right half yeah they are they are they are equal and this one is equal to one negative half log secant square x right because uh, one over cosine is secant then this one is equal to negative half log tangent square x plus one all right that is uh, that is what i want to say so this one is equal to integral from zero to quarter pi tangent x log tangent square x plus one and the dx and the matter of a half right half negative sorry negative half this integral okay then this one is equal to uh, I can uh, let uh, let uh, you be tangent x. Then this integral becomes a negative half. This will be u, right? This is u. This is log u squared plus 1. And the dx will be what? dx will be now here x is equal to arctangent u. So dx will be du over u squared plus one. <coughs> okay, good. Then. <laughs> Uh, when x when x equal to zero is zero, when x equal to quarter pi u is equal to one. Right? Yeah, and then this one equal to this integral. I can use uh, another variable. Let uh, well. We should have said uh, let t be u square plus one. Then <laughs> dt will be two u du. Good. It's a negative half integral. Uh, log, uh, this will be log uh, t, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, this will be over t. u du. u du is half dt. It's so half dt. Then when x, uh, when u equal to 0, t is 1. When uh, u equal to 1, then t is 2. All right, then this one is equal to negative 1 quarter integral from, z from 1 to 2 and uh, log t 
dt over t is a d log t, right? Yeah. That's correct. Now, we have this. We have integral something d something that is equal to one half something square, right? That is uh, that is uh, obvious. Yes. Therefore, this one is equal to negative one quarter star d star is uh, one half this one squared, isn't it? From one to two. Yeah, so this one is equal to negative one eighth. Negative one eighth. This will be a log two square, isn't it? Plus one quarter, one eighth times zero. Because the log one is zero. So the end, uh, the answer is um, one eighth log square two. So that is uh, my answer for this integral by method one. Okay, method two. Now, method two is a uh, well. I'm using substitution. Simply, uh, let uh, u be cosine x. Okay. Then this integral becomes. Uh, This will be, uh, well, du is equal to negative sine x dx, isn't it? Yeah. So this will be, uh, well, uh, let me use uh, x first. So this will be sine x over cosine x, that's the tangent. The log cosine x dx. Then after substitution, this will be u, isn't it? This is a log u. Log u, yeah. Sine x dx, sine x is equal to negative, negative du, isn't it? And when when x equal to zero, u is one. When x equal to one quarter pi, that is uh, one over root two. Okay, so this one is equal to negative one to log uh, one to one over root two. The log u. And uh, d over u, right? d over u is uh, d log u again. Okay, d u over u is d log u. Now then we use this, right? d star, uh, d star is half star square. So this one is equal to negative one half this log u square, isn't it? Then from one to one over root two. So this one is equal to negative half uh, log. Uh, what well, log this is square right yes plus one and a half 
time zero, log one zero. Now this one is equal to <coughs> one half. This is a log. Uh, this is a two to negative half square, isn't it? This square, see. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is equal to negative this one. This will be negative half log two square, isn't it? This is equal to one eighth log square two. See the same answer. Same answer as a method of one. Now okay, method of three. Uh, method three is uh, zero tangent x log cosine x dx. Now, if if you are sharp-eyed, you see that. You see that uh, tangent tangent x is equal to d log cosine x negative, right? Because uh, cosine log cosine derivative is one over cosine times sine derivative, which is a negative sign, that is makes tangent. Now if you see this, the the integral would be very easy. See, that means this integral is from 0 to quarter pi log cosine x times d log of cosine x. Negative, huh? I'll leave negative outside. I'll leave negative outside. If you see this, tangent is this, then the integral is very easy. Right? So this is negative one half uh, log of cosine square, right? From one zero to quarter pi. And this one equal to negative half bracket log cosine is a log cosine is a log of one over root two, right? Yeah, square plus one half put a zero log one, isn't it? So this one is equal to <coughs> log one square. And this is equal to negative one half. This is equal to log two to negative square right? plus zero. This will be equal to negative half and then negative half log two square. So that will be equal to negative one eighth log square two. See the same answer. Same answer is if you see tangent is negative log, uh, if tangent is called negative log, uh, derivative log cosine, if you see that, see the inter, the inter could be right away. No? So if you see this, you will make the method of one or method of two. It looks like uh, making simple story complicated. See, okay. So by comparison, these three methods, you know, I think uh, it could be benefit for those who are taking their basic calculus course. Thank you for your watching.